What we're going to do now is move into section 10.4, keeping with polygons, now talking about the ideas of area and circumference, starting with rectangles and squares, our most basic units for talking about area, where four rectangles and squares, if you want to find area, all you do is look at length times width or width times height, or height times width, however you want to talk about it. The dimension in one direction multiplied by the dimension in another direction. Where to get this, the best thing to do is think about an example. So what we want to do is look at finding the surface area of the path diagram below so that we can figure out how much it will cost to tile it, assuming tiling is $2 per square foot. So for this, the thing you want to think about is that when we say phrases like square foot, what we mean is looking at a unit of measurement in terms of one foot in one direction and one foot in another direction, making the dimensions of a square. So to help out, thinking of our picture as it's given, we can clean that up a little bit. There are a couple ways we can go about this, but here's one where we see that that L shape can be split into two separate rectangular areas. And from here, what we want to do is just find the area of each. So for this, to find our area, we can just find the area of one rectangle plus the area of the other, I'll call that A1 and A2. Or here, the dimensions of one of those rectangles is 13 feet by 3 feet, and the other is going to be 3 feet by 9 feet for a total, once you multiply that out and add it up, of 66 feet. Now that we have, oh, excuse me, it shouldn't just be 66 feet, that's 66 square feet. So, once we have the square footage, our next step is to find the price, where our price is just going to be the product of the cost per square foot times the number of square feet. So, $2 per square foot times 66 square feet leaves us with a total price of $132.